sunny June, I heard the birds were singing But I tossed and turned a feeling I can't explain No girl in town told me why she have to look my Wanted way Wanted to throw some paper, get drunk with my friends Do some damage to my brain But then she came along, one smiling I finished my quick little break from editing that cinnamon roll was super dry, I couldn't finish it. Laundry is also done, I need to hang these clothes to dry. And before I go back to editing, I really want to give a shout out to this book. I have been reading it the last few days and I really, really enjoy it so far. It is super fun. I'm not even halfway through though, but so far it is super interesting. I really want to know how this will end. And because I know that some of you guys enjoy reading and you like to to hear about new books. I wanted to mention it. It's obviously in Greek, you cannot really understand what it means, but this book is called The People on Platform 5. That's what it says on the cover. But let me fill you in on what this book is all about. Every day at 8.05, Ayana Averson boards the train to go to work with the same group of people who she makes assumptions about even giving them nicknames. As a seasoned commuter, she knows that there are rules that everybody should follow. You must have a job to go to, don't consume hot food, always pack for any eventuality, you must never speak to strangers on the train. But then one morning, smart but sexist Serbiton chokes on a grape right in front of Iona. Suspiciously, nice new Malden steps up to help and saves his life. And this one event sparks a chain reaction. With nothing in common but their commute, an eclectic group of people learn that their assumptions about each other don't match reality. But when Iona's life begins to fall apart, will her new friends be there when she needs them most? So this is what the book is all about. It sounded very interesting. This book is actually my sister so I'm just borrowing it from her but so far so good very interesting but now my little break is over I need to hang the laundry to dry and get back into editing so as you can tell from the title these are going to be a few days in my life so we're going to spend them together and let's get back into the things that I have to do It is a bit later and I will start making dinner now. For tonight's dinner we're going to have pasta bolognese with minced chicken and I'm also going to boil some broccoli to have on the side, you know, for some extra nutrients. Mm. Pick up a couple of things that we need for the apartment, and that is the plan for today. Colors were faded, the man I miss them made no place 
that I would rather be. Take a long time, day and night. Take a long time to keep the moment alive. I am finally back home. My work day at the cafe was not very successful because a group of some adults with children were just walking around the cafeteria talking, discussing about the pictures and the paintings that the coffee shop had. I don't know why. Maybe there was something historical and important to talk about. I have no clue. And the children were, you know, being very loud. They're children. That's fine. But still, there was no socket for me to put my laptop's charge and I didn't have enough time to edit because my laptop ran out of battery. But let me show you what I got from the grocery store or from the supermarket. Is there a difference between a grocery store and a supermarket? I don't know. Anyways, let me show you what I got. It's nothing too interesting, maybe one thing is fun the coffee but this is everything that i got i got these trash bags because they are very inexpensive and i cannot find them online because i always order groceries online but all of a sudden they don't have these available online and they used to have them i don't know why they only have more expensive ones probably because they want me to spend more money i guess and i also needed small bags for the bathroom trash can. I also got some cheese for pasta, this random roller for clothes, and maybe this is the most fun part. I got this coffee. It says that it's not very strong. You know, it says that the intensity is 5 out of 10, so I hope that I can drink from it like a couple of times a week because you know I don't drink coffee daily. Even though it is in the package, it smells very nice and it was not that expensive, so I got this too. Anyways, I just need to do a quick cleanup around the kitchen and I need to have lunch and sit down to edit some more because honestly, I didn't edit almost anything. See you later. finally getting a haircut today. It has been over a year. My hair is now freshly washed. I didn't apply any hair oil, nothing, so it is freshly washed for the hairdresser. I just got a bit ready and I will head out the door. Before the haircut appointment, I will also get a coffee. It looks like a beautiful sunny day, even though it is kind of windy, but it is fine. Let's head out the door and let's sort out this hair situation. I hope it will look fine afterwards. I will just get a little trim, just some light layers and maybe some long curtain bangs. We will see how it will go. So that's the plan. Let's freshen up this hair and get a cup of coffee. Let's go. Sitting in your room, working on my first record. Skip to the present and I still have not released it. The difference in my hair is actually not that noticeable. The only difference that someone might see are these little front pieces. I don't even know if I should call them 
curtain bangs? I don't think so. They're too long for that. Maybe next time I will make these pieces a bit shorter because honestly the picture that I showed to the hairdresser, I think the curtain bangs were like this, but she made them longer. But it's okay because she asked me if I wanted these pieces longer and I said that they were fine. So you know what? They are fine. It's okay, whatever. But I wanted to show you the two shirts I picked up from the thrift store. I actually got the first striped one that I tried on. The first shirt that I tried on was this one. And it is exactly the way I wanted it. Blue with white stripes and a little bit oversized. It looks lovely. I actually steamed this one so it looks nice <laughs> and steamed. I don't really like this part but you cannot really see it once it is on so it doesn't matter. But I loved it. It is exactly how I wanted it. So I was very excited. The brand is random I guess. It's, it says Eterna, I don't know, this brand, first time that I hear about it. And it says that it is a size 48. What size is that? I don't even know. And it is 100% cotton, that's what it says. And I also got a white one, which I haven't steamed yet. I also want to wash both of these, so there's no point in steaming them. But I also got this white one. I'm just checking that everything is okay with it. I mean, it's a little bit late to check it now because no returns are allowed in that thrift store, but yeah. I also got the second uh, white shirt that I tried because the first one that I tried on, I think it was very small on me and I wanted it to be a little bit baggier. And of course, I found the perfect white baggy shirt. So I'm very happy about this purchase too because you know, I was checking out shirts at Zara and at H&M and they were kind of expensive. I mean, not that expensive, but some of them were quite expensive. I mean, I remember one was like 15 euros. Okay, that's not extreme, but I've seen others that are like 25 euros, maybe 30. I didn't want to pay that much. And these were five euros each. So that's a steal. I'm very excited that I found the shirts that I wanted. These two were exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy with my purchases. They're also from a thrift store, so that's nice, you know, thrifting. I want to try to thrift more instead of buy brand new, but we will see how this will go. I'm thinking that maybe I should go to Athens one day and check out more thrift stores and maybe take you along. And then if I find cute pieces, I can also style them in that video. What do we think about that? Does it sound good? thrift with me and then style my new pieces. What do you think? Let me know. But that is all that I got. And I think that this vlog is getting long, maybe. I'm not really sure because I've been filming for quite a few days, so I have lost track. I don't really remember what I have filmed, really. But I think that it is time to close off this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys! Take a long time, day and night Take a long